kickers got the ball set up and we're ready to get this thing started. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They're packed in tight on the line. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27. Three down, three down. Ready! And he's tackled at the 43 yard line. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. Second and eight, ball on the 41 yard line. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 24-yard line. It's second down. There. That's, That's a gain of five, five on the way. way. That'll, That'll make it third. Third. the same exact play they just ran. I think it was the exact same play, and that was a great pickup, too. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Got the corner. Nice run to the outside. About four yards on the counter to the halfback. That'll make it second and seven. two on the carry. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. That'll bring up They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's level at the 49-yard line. 
This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second. This is the ninth play of this drive. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Here we go. Reds expect Quick throw. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. And this is what power football is all about, folks. He's taken down at the 28. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on down. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back, Aladdin, check back, Aladdin. Check. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 28. Scrambling around. And down he goes. Around the 29-yard line. Fourth and long here after the sack. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Brought down at the 49. A two-yard run by the halfback. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here we go. Black 90. Black He steps out at the 45-yard line. So at the end of one. No score here. That makes it third and three. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. And he throws it away. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And they make the stop around the 21-yard line. Well, 
We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 21. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Third down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of seven on the play. First From their own 35-yard line. First down. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Take four, take four. Go, go. They bring him down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Oh, excellent punt. Gets to about the 44-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he is drilled at the 41-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a team six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. And 58 is the mic. Well, 58 is the mic. And he's taken down around the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, first down. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That brings up second and 13. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. He fires right side. Picked off by the senior. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. First and ten. Ball on the seventh. The Hokies taking their first time out of the half. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Oh, 
pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. I got one. I got one. 17's Mike. Mike 17. Got it, and brought down immediately. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. He scrambled. The ball pops free. It's recovered. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Tackle made at the 48. From the 48-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and look out. He's in the 30, and he's tackled around the 26-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. The sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. He's got it out to his tight end. They'll bring him down at the 24. Here comes the pressure. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He fights forward to about the seven. That brings him second and goal. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. Great play by the defense. Well, that time they came with the blitz, and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with a sack. This is the eighth play of this drive. It's up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The return team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Makes it to the 44. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. Stanford leads it 3 0.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Great first half. Hopefully the second half is good. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Stanford's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense really just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill when they can attack this offense. Tackle at the 21. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Gives it off. Nice gain as he works the right side. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and eight. He gets rid of this one. Well, the defense did all there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Stanford is up a field goal. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That brings up second and 13. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Just a great series for the defense to force the three and out and get that kind of pressure on the quarterback. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Booming kick. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big-time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. It really goes. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. 
He's taken down at the 50. What impresses me so much is Number the guy's vision. Brings him he read the, the coverage perfectly line. to find his man for good yardage. It's two. second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. 17's Mike. Mike 17. Quick pass. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. It's positive yards. From the 33 yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. First down, Graham. And down he goes at the 20. Number eight, Number eight makes, makes the tackle, tackle at the 10 yard, yard line. line. First, First down. down. Here we go, D. Here I come. Here I come. Mike 17. Mike 17. Break out. Quick pass intercepted. And he tackles him hard at the 10 yard line. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. From their own 10-yard line, it's first down. Stanford has a three-point lead. Throws a strike over the middle. Right down around the 24-yard line. Four yards away here on second down. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up third and six. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Has some daylight. He's at the 30. He's finally tackled at the 14-yard line. Listen, he's not just fast. He's also a smart runner. He knows how to follow blocks, and he knows when to accelerate. That's what differentiates skill from talent. First and ten following that big run. So the offense back in the red zone here and looking to erase the memory of that interception on their last trip. That makes it second and six. And they make the stop at around the 12 yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From the 12 yard line, third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Get to that quickly. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Touchdown, Virginia Tech! 
attack. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 57-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 7-3. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously, but at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with, because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Makes it to the 34. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? Virginia Tech in front, 7-3. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep down. their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 29. He gets out to about the 32-yard line, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That makes it third and three. Here we go! Black Makes it to the 41. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. They line up in the jumbo set. And he's taken down at the 49 yard line. it out to midfield and he gets a yard on the run it's a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier they'll line it up again on third down he gets another carry he fights forward to about the 49. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Tackled after decent pickup. That brings us second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Throws this one away. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. This is the 11th play of this drive. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. No gain on the play. Play 13 of the current drive. Tackle made at the 26. From the 26 yard line. First down. Here we go. Black and Fires it out. And they push him out around the four yard line. This is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. And he's tackled at the six-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 16th play of the drive. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Gets to about the five-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it so here it is. Crucial third down as they try to take the lead. A little over a minute in the game. Ready! Ready! Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. A long 18-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hokies have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. He gets rid of this one. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. 17's Mike. Mike 17. Go. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 31 yard line. Alert, alert. Under a minute left in the game. He's on the run. Tackle around the 39 yard line. Virginia Tech will take their first time out of the half. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out, and down he goes, around the 37-yard line. 
That'll make it second and inches. And he stops the clock with a spike. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He's under pressure. Runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down at the 22. He's going to try and scramble. Inside the 10. Spikes the ball. That makes it third and goal. Here's the 11th play of the drive. The kick is away. Stanford's going to take their first time out of the half. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. He airs it out. No, incomplete. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Swings it out left to the halfback. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15. He's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. That's a loss of about five. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he tackles him hard at the 16. That's good for him. Third and 11. Ball on the 16 yard line. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. goal. Roger, Roger. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they let you play. Touchdown, VTech. He hits the PAT. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. 
That makes it second and ten. Four down, four down. 98, 98. He's a man. And he's immediately tackled. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. him hard at the 23. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they that get the quarterback, the but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. And he can't get the pass off and he's sacked. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. Virginia Tech, 17, Stanford, 10. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.